Hi, welcome to CYA Condos. This is Lori Greenlee. At this point, if you've heard nothing else from me, you've heard me reference reserve studies over and over and over again. But what is a reserve study? Well, in a nutshell, a reserve study is like having a full inspection and appraisal of your condo. It's the only way to obtain the same inspection information and appraisal information as when you perform an inspection or appraisal on a single family home. Otherwise, when you have an inspection or appraisal completed on your condo, it is only giving you a report on your four walls, basically, not the same foundation to roof report you get on the single family home you are purchasing. A reserve study is the only way to know the true value of a condo, and it is the only way to review a full inspection on a condo because the reserve study includes inspections on the entire building itself, not just the condo box you are purchasing. Would you purchase a single family home without knowing the age, condition, and cost to replace the roof, furnace, windows, or the condition of the foundation? Let's look at this scenario. If an appraisal tells you the value of your condo, then how can you say a condo is worth $500,000 when the comps are two condos across and down the street that had each done reserve studies that required some structural work that has been completed and both condos have also fully funded their reserves according to the recommendations of those reserve studies. Each of those other two condos HOA fees are probably higher, but this also means those two condos should not be surprised with any assessments anytime soon. Because the condo you are considering purchasing is the same age and has not done a reserve study or any structural inspections, how do you know if and when you will be surprised with an assessment to repair or replace the normal wear and tear of aging components? How do you know if the reserves are funded appropriately? Without a reserve study, you have no idea. It's all a guessing game. Maybe the water system has deteriorated the pipes and the walls, over the past 40 years, yet nobody knows. Then a year from now, everything goes wrong and you have to pay $140,000 out of your own pocket or in an increased HOA fee to replace these pipes because it hadn't been saved for appropriately. Wouldn't you value your condo of $500,000 minus $140,000 at $360,000 if you had known? You would certainly have looked at this condo differently when comparing it to those other two condos last year that knew their reserves were funded and all work was up to date. This is a true story, by the way. If you were purchasing a single family home, your inspection and appraisal would give you the full story from foundation to roof and everything in between. And you would have done one of three things at that time when you were under contract. You would renegotiate the contract, you would withdraw your offer, or I guess you would proceed as is. But in the case of condos, you don't get this option if you aren't seeing a reserve study. And reserve companies across America believe that fewer than 30% of all condo buildings have completed or up-to-date reserve studies on file, and that fewer than 20% are fully funded and prepared for what their aging buildings needs are. Thank you to Reserve Partners Association Reserves for their expertise, their commitment to education, and their passion for protecting condo owners. This blog we're going to look at comes directly from their website, where you can find many more answers to these complex questions. A reserve study helps you to anticipate and prepare for repair and replacement expenses at your property. All buildings begin to physically deteriorate the moment they are completed, making the need for repairs not a question of if, but when. This is where a reserve study comes in, turning these projects into predictable expenses rather than a financial surprise. Condos were intended to be an attainable form of housing that would have the same type of expenses as a single family home. But when you put 25, 50, or 100 to 300 units under one roof and then spread those expenses across those units, it was a much more efficient and more affordable solution. For instance, the rule of thumb is that home maintenance should cost 1 to 4% of the purchase price 
annually. Let's use 2% to be more conservative. The idea was for condo owners to share those expenses and to either have access to more amenities for that same price or to split that 2%, so maybe into 1%. But how do you know how much money to really set aside as a condo owner? Because we have very different components we're talking about to maintain. A reserve study is the art and science of planning and preparing for the inevitable and predictable. A reserve study enables you to make fact-based driven decision, data dri driven decisions. It does this by establishing a reserve budget for repairing and replacing parts of your building and infrastructure systems. This helps owners of residential and commercial properties, mixed use and industrial properties to avoid surprise expenses. By having a detailed and itemized list of reserve components along with the scope and schedule of the predictable repairs, boards and owners can make informed decisions, save money and protect property values. In our case, what we're discussing is you actually know your property value. A reserve study tells you three things, specifically what you are reserving for, that's also known as the component list, the strength of your current reserve fund, also known as the percentage fund, a percent funded, a funding plan crafted to allow for timely repairs and replacements without reliance on additional funding sources. If organizations and communities choose not to have a reserve study conducted, they are at high risk of needing to rely on internal or external sources of funding when a significant repair or replacement project comes due. In an association governed community, when reserves are underfunded, boards must pass what is known as a special assessment. You hear me talk about these a lot, and these are becoming more common throughout the United States with aging buildings and underfunded reserves today. Special assessments are financial obligations placed upon owners above and beyond the regular monthly assessments, the HOA fees. Special assess assessments could mean amounts from the low four figures to the mid five figures, depending on the magnitude of the cash shortfall. A special assessment should be avoided at all costs as it is inherently unfair and raises concerns that the board has been fiscally irresponsible. Thank you, Robert and Association Reserves team. We are grateful for you and your willingness to work with us at a level that helps us understand all of the important details required to manage and run a commercial building such as the condo, mid-rise, high-rise, low-rise. We have been discussing these for the past few years. I have included a QR code and link to this blog and their website, which also includes the FIFO HOA scoring system you might have heard about in one of our most recent blogs. My hope is that every building in America will have a reserve study one day soon so that owners are protected and buyers can compare apples to apples when purchasing. They will have access to that inspection we all deserve and will truly know the value of what they are purchasing because of this. Thank you. Have a great day.